Hey everyone, um, this is Rooster here, and I'm here to tell you about a cool trick that Hoishin and I worked together to find over the past few days. So a few days ago, a streamer by the name of Let's Get Pitted um, found a way to manipulate RNG outside of the actual gameplay. Uh, I'm sure many of you already know about the RNG cure list, but a really interesting thing that Pitted, dis Pitted discovered is that when you load a save, a fixed amount of RNG gets consumed. And so what that means is that we can manipulate RNG by loading saves to put us at a very specific place, and we can use this to get the sight and grat much more consistently than listening for clicks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do this one simple way. So what we're gonna do is start by making a save, which we can uh, use to get the bow. So what you want to do is, for this method, um, I'm sure many of you have, have seen this before and with the clicks, but the clicks use um, a boy running on the airship between Rabinaster and Nalbana. However, the one Hoishin and I discovered, uh, we use the the uh, Bujerba aerodrome, the Bujerba to Rabinaster flight, because the save crystal is right here. So we can get from the crystal to the flight with as little RNG changing as possible to make this easier to manipulate. So the first thing you want to do is make a save um, in the Bujerba Aerodrome and just be ready to use that. So once you have that, you can go ahead and quit out. And what we're going to do is the same thing that Pitted did, which is, um, oops. Which is um, make a save that we can do with Rex. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Oops. Time for you to learn some speedrun strats. You gotta skip some cutscenes. There's three cutscenes here. So the basic idea, for those of you who are familiar with the um, RNG manipulation, is we're going to try and move the RNG up to 544 in the table. And when we're at 544, when we load that save, it'll put us in a place where the meme bow will appear and so that we can get it. So you can push R3 here three times to skip that little camera tutorial. Run up to Bosch von Ronsenberg. Just gonna get through all this as fast as possible, it doesn't really matter. on the settings I'm familiar with. Run forward, skip a cutscene. Um, this fight goes a little bit faster if you use Thunder on this guy. So is, we're going to fight these little guards up here. Uh, there's a group of three guards we're going to fight. It's also good to use thunder on them because in IZJS, magic is, the low level magic is area of effect. So just two thunders will be enough to kill them. So the whole thing we're doing here is we're making a save from which we can easily manipulate the RNG. Most of the save crystals in this game are in places where RNG gets updated or where you can't cast spells. So we need a place where RNG will not get updated and um, where you can cast spells. And this is one of the one of the few places in the game where you can. A few other places if you want to use your own RNG manipulation tool um, would be like uh, pretty much any zone where there's no NPCs, no bad guys, and where you can cast spells. 
like the zone before fire main would be one. Okay, I took care of these guys. Zone back, make a save. Go ahead and put it over my Garam Scythe save, because who cares? Now we're ready to do the manipulation. So, once you have this, let's go ahead and do a hard reset. Hard reset is where you push the power button on the console. You just if you just uh, press start square up X or start square up circle in IZGS, it will um, it will not reset the random number random number generator. So this is important that you hard reset here. So what we're gonna do is load that save, and we're gonna try and put ourselves on RNG position five hundred and forty four. Albina. Let's see. Eighty eight. So his level is three and he has twenty three magic power, so we have that. Now let's put in eighty eight in our random random number generator. So the first guess for our position is 2, which is clearly not correct. Next number is 94. 159 is still too low, or 158 is still too low. 89. So we're at, one thir we're at 535 right now. 93 will be next. Yep. So the magic numbers we're looking for are... Um, looks like... 87, 97, 97. Looks like the magic numbers are 88, 95, 87. It's okay to touch this crystal if you need to. So 91, 88, 95, 87. 97. 4. And now here come our magic numbers. 91. 88. Ninety-five, eighty-seven. Once we have hit eighty-seven, eighty-seven is the number five hundred forty-four. Quit to the screen. This does not reset the random number generator, and I will link this RNG tool, or I will link a link to it, to um, in the description for this video, written by um, several people before me, including Yokai Get Dragoon and another guy who I'll link uh, from the Speed Demos archives. Forums, but now currently being worked on by me as well as Bed Intruder, another Twitch person I met, on, met through Twitch. Let's load our save in Bujerba. So what we're going to do here is actually very precise. We want to run in front of the desk, but not directly in front of the desk. This positioning is very important. So we're going we're gonna to want to run in front of the desk and then pause as soon as the guy with the book appears. So I like to stand on this circle and wait for this guy to appear. So the reason we're doing this is that the teller standing in front of us will not spawn with us standing too close to them. So we put ourselves um, out of their spawn range to, to allow them to spawn. And we pause it because once the once the um, pre-detailed guy, whatever his name is, um, once he spawns, other NPCs will spawn, will load while we're paused. So you pause it, and then you want to wait for a few seconds. Just make sure you, you, make sure you're, uh, she's loaded. And now the next, this, these next two parts are very precise. You want to press X, circle, 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 circle. Press circle as fast as you can. And just to master this menu, X will cancel out of start. So X, circle, 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 circle. And then skip this cutscene. 
Um, and then you're going to skip this dialogue here. This dialogue does not know it RNG is being consumed um, while the dialogue is going. You have to match that menu fast because RNG is being consumed. Now you run around this corner, hold forward, run around the corner, and then one, two steps against the door. And that should put you in the right place to spawn the uh, Sight and Grads. Let's see. Perfect. All right, that's spawned in the Sight and Grad. So now what we're going to watch for is there's a guy here, this guy in red. We're going to watch him go up and down the stairs twice, right? So this is the first time. You can do this on speed up. We're going to watch him go down, and then when he comes back up, this is the guy we're going to want to pay attention to. And we're going to pay attention to him, and he's going to walk over here and then walk this way, sort of like this. And then the timing for getting the bow out of this chest is any time between his second and fifth steps. So one, two, three, four, five. Any time in there, you can pick it up between two and five. But we're still waiting for that guy to come up the stairs one more time. Chest is here. Um, walking against the door earlier was important because if we push the door too soon, it wouldn't spawn. We had to wait for one NPC to move inside the ship. So, guys come up the stairs. You can do this on the speed up, but I'm going to do it not sped up just to demonstrate. So he's coming over. Really quick, make sure you have um, spawn in the party with a diamond armlet. One, two, any time in there, and you get your sight and grab. That's all there is to it. The timing is very, very easy between two and four, two and five steps, and with a, with one or two tries, you shouldn't have any trouble getting the uh, the cure thing down. It's very, very simple and very straightforward. Um, it's a little bit harder than the Zodiac Age version, but it's really I think it's much easier than the clicks. There's no need to listen to clicks, and it's also uh, much more consistent. Um, once now that we actually know how this works. We have learned that the clicking method is totally inconsistent and it relies on you essentially accidentally getting the right um, RNG. Yeah, you have to get very, you have to get pretty lucky for that to happen. And um, a lot of the time you may uh, open the chest and find that you don't actually get the get the side and grat, even though your timing looked good. That might actually be because you're opening the wrong side and grat chest. You're getting lucky and getting the wrong chest. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this video here because I think I've I've proven the point and I'll I'm gonna continue streaming so if you want to see more proof you can come back to the stream so yeah um, I know this is game breaking a lot of people complain like why would you even get this you should go outside and talk to girls but um, a lot of people just want to have a really relaxed playthrough or want to just have some fun blasting enemies so this can be lots of fun to, fun to get but yeah so of course this is all in Japanese um, but hey. It's the same inputs. Yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you around.